How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of Half Acre up in this piece in the form of their Grow Greater Inglewood. Yeah, it is an IPA. This is coming in at 6 and change, I believe. I know the ABV's on here. 6.3% alcohol by volume. This is canned not too long ago. The date on the bottom of the one's kind of wonky. I can't really tell it, but I think it's like less than a month old. If it's a month old, give or take, it is half acre. They're going to make sustainable kind of uh, uh, shelf stable kind of beers. Although this one came from a cooler. It says here, Grogerter Inglewood uh, is a nonprofit social enterprise that works with residents and developers in the Inglewood neighborhood of Chicago to create sustainable food economies and green businesses to support community wellness and generate wealth. So right there. You got a couple like extra space things. I know, you know, you're trying to do types, types. I don't know. Just this. <sighs> anyway, um, listen, if I see a relatively low ABV beer, it doesn't have to be low ABV, but if I want something to drink and crush and it's relatively low ABV and it's relatively fresh and it's half acre, I'm buying. I'm buying. That's how much I love these guys. Um, label wise is really cool. Um, it's just a planter with ferns in it, but I just like to dig the whole vibe of it minus the kind of typesetting little, it's not so much those greater spaces up here. It's right here. They throw one in there and then they throw another one in a cut. You know, I just don't, you don't need to do that. Anyway, <laughs> that's just me kind of getting crazy about Typeset and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, beer wise, looks absolutely fantastic. Rich orange glow. Um, not much of a head on it, but looks the part of a Midwest hazy, uh, for lack of a better term. Looks like it's gonna have a nice fruit component and new school kind of hops hopping to it, but at the same time, it's gonna have this bittering, also this kind of sweetness to it. That's what I get from the look. Hey, can you get all that from the look? I don't know, but I'm saying I'm getting it. So, yeah, yeah, khaki colored head, orange core, not super hazy. Let's get a nose. Man, that's OJ. That's like, um, almost like a Fanta OJ. Orangina OJ. There's this kind of, like, soda portion show. I wonder if there's going to be a little bit of carbonic acid going on here. Was they really do kind of get this sprightly, spritzy, carbonated kind of orange beverage in here. Orange Julius. Carbonated Orange Julius. Kind of thing going on here. It just rich, big orange vibes to it. Not much as far as any precursors of a big bittering to it either. It really does come off as this um, soda sweetened. I don't want to go hard candy. I don't want to go confectionery. But the kind of sweetness you would get from a soda kind of uh, sweetness in this huge, gobbing, rich, dense kind of orange vibe to it, man. I just want to dive in. Cheers. Not nearly as sweet as you think it's going to be based off of the nose. You know, those, those kind of, um, like kind of those ten those markers that make you think something's going to be sweet. They're kind of here in the nose. They just don't really fall through in the taste. Sure, it's an IPA. 6%, it's that level of sweetness. What this really is, is a huge orange portion of showing both the sweet, fruity side of things. Not overly sweet, like I said, but sweet, fruity side of things. And that big, kind of pithy, almost rindy kind of orange characteristic. Beautiful, drinkable mouthfeel, soft, creamy, silky, not super dense. Has that nice kind of pithy orange, zesty kind of orange. So keep saying pithy. I want to go more zesty on this. And this beautiful mouthfeel and this nice kind of fluttering, bittering throughout the whole thing. That's that kind of zestiness. Instead of being like a pithy bittering, it's this kind of zesty green, slight green, generic green kind of bittering kind of floating throughout, which kind of acts as this kind of counterbalance to that kind of sweetness that's going on. I think this is actually a pretty damn tasty beer, and I think it's really, really aggressive and electric, both from nose to taste for something of its ABV. You know, this drinks like a lot of people's 7.5 to 8% IB, IPA, especially that nose, the way it comes off with that big kind of orange soda-like kind of vibe in a very, very natural way. I'm not trying to say it's chemical or caustic or artificial. But then to follow up with something that's drinkable but purposeful and meaningful and just comes off as a really well done beer. I mean, it's kind of half acre. It's what they do. It's, you know, one of my favorite breweries from the Midwest. And this is just kind of one of those, okay, again, no shit, Sherlock, a really well done 
sub 7% IPA. They do great stuff above 7%. They do lagers. They do a bunch of different stuff. But really, for me, my heart really, you know, Daisy Cutter, that kind of beer you're looking at, anywhere between 5 to 7% is really where my heart lies when it comes to Half Acre. And this one kind of proves that over and over again in a very, very tasty way. Yeah, I dig this. Orange all over the place, multiple different levels, really nice silky mouthfeel, a bittering that's purposeful and meaningful and kind of adds that counterbalance. It's a really tasty beer. Is this one of the better IPAs I've had? Is like, yes, the Mount Rushmore set is no, but I dig it. That's all that really matters, I guess. Listen, at 14 to 15 bucks is what I paid for this at a four pack. I have no qualms picking this back up. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, valued availability, like I said, 14, 15 bucks off the shelf and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. Um, I don't think this is going to be like a beer that you're just generic kind of super haze bro is going to kind of kind of go bonkers over. Um, but I do think it's something that, um, you know. Uh, if you're uh, uh, more mature, man, let's even make it worse, sound worse, mature, uh, beer drinker that enjoys a lot of different styles and, and kind of likes the old school, likes the new school and everything in between, I think you really dig this. So there you go. Reviewing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, let me know if you've had this beer from them. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Massive beers if you want to check me out on social media stuff, beer massif, podcasting stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little half acre right now. Hopefully see you next time.